Hi everyone, it's me, Sarah, here with the Enosburg Public Library, and welcome to our Saturday story time. Today's book I have for you Spike, the Mixed Up Monster, written by Susan Hood and illustrated by Melissa Sweet. That's so sweet. This is about a cute little lizard type dragon creature monster he's pointy he's scary he has spiky crown he has a mean teeth he is a monster no bigger than a lily pad what will it take for spike to make a friend spike the mixed up monster spike was a monster or so he thought Slither's tail. See, I am a monster, all right. Stumpy teeth. Spike spent hours practicing his monster moves. His swoosh that ta he'd swoosh that tail, shake those spikes, and bear those teeth. He'd splish, splash, splatter, and splutter. There was just one little problem. Spike was no bigger than a lily pad, so no one was afraid of him. Oh, no. Oh, my funny little fish friend, quacked El Pato. Spike shook his spikes. Ah, amigo, said El Am Amaradillo. I'm trying to say armadillo, and it's not working. Armadillo, <laughs> you're cuter than the bugs behind. Spike swooshed his tail. Ay, caramba, you're almost as adorable as I am, so that El Campano, Campano. Spike bared his teeth. He has such a sweet smile, everyone agreed. Aw, Spike's crown of spikes dropped, drooped. And he sank beneath the water, settling into the scum of the bottom of the lake. I am a horrible monster, he thought. A no good, horrible monster. Early one misty morning, a traveler appeared by the lake. A monster? A real monster? A gila monster. He wore a black mask and flicked his black tongue. He was a monster as tough as they come. One look and the animals knew what to do. El monstruo, quacked El Pato. Flap and fly, flap and fly. El monstruo, cried the armadillo. Dig and hide, dig and hide. El monstruo, said the, said El Campano. I still don't got it. Run inside, run inside. Only Spike was left to face the El Monstruo. Am I saying that right? Monstruo. He knew what to do, his monster moves. He shook his spikes and bared his teeth. And swooshed his tail. He splished and splashed and splattered and spluttered. El Masuro didn't make a move. He didn't make a sound. He stopped and stared. <clears throat> did, I, did I scare you? said Spike. Scare me? No, El Masuro laughed. <laughs> it's just that no one has ever smiled at me before. Oh, said Spike. His crown of spikes drooped, and he dropped back down into the water. Wait, cried Don Mastudo. Wait, amigo. I need your help. I was headed for my cousin's fiesta, but I took a siesta. Now I'm lost. Everyone runs away from me, so I have no one to ask for help. Well, I can help you, said Spike. And he flashed his fellow monster and 
Flash's fellow monster a big, friendly monster grin as he pointed out the correct path. Gracias, amigo, said El Monstruo, returning Spike's smile. Amigo, said Spike. De nada, mi amigo. Adios. Adios, amigo, so, said El Monstruo. See you next time. And he was on his way. Slowly, carefully, El Pato, the armadillo, and El Campagno <laughs> crept out of their hiding place. You saved us, quacked El Pato. How did you do it, asked the armadillo. How did you tame the monster, asked El Campagno. Campagno. I am so sorry if I'm butchering it. I am trying. <laughs> Spike just smiled. Look how cute Spike is. So, this is what Spike is actually based off of. He is an oxytol. So, axol... Oh, I don't know how to saying it. Axolotl. Axolotl. They are a special kind of salamander that can be found in Mexico. Axolotl range in the size from 7 to 14 inches long, with the average between 9 to 10 inches. They are in the water. And in the wild, they're only found in two places in the world, Lake Chalco, Chalco and Lake Xochimico near the Mexico City. And this one, which was the other monster. Oh, let's see if I said it right. Pronounce. Oh, this is a Gila. That's what that is. They are two foot long. And the Gila monster is a cousin. The Mexican beaded lizard are only venomous lizards on Earth. Oh, Gila monsters hunt with their tongues, and they flick them out to pick up the scents in the air. That's cool. And that little creature, creature the, the one I can't say, Campanul, <laughs> that is a Mexican vole. So they're tiny little vegetarians. The El Pato is a cinnamon teal duck. It, lays, it weighs less than a pound and measures about 16 inches long. And then the nine-banded armadillo, the size of a large house cat. And these are all some Spanish words that they point out in the end. I wonder if it has a glossary. Dun, 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 dun. Or that is a glossary. So, that is that. Spike, the Mixed Up Monster. I hope you guys like that book. I thought that was a lot of fun. I like lizards and um, all sorts of reptiles that way. So, I figured this would be a fun read. And for me to try to speak some Spanish for you guys. And I always have a mix up. I'm not even best at English, so... Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, so the craft I have for you guys today, we are going to be making our own little spike. So this part is the body. So I got to figure out what I'm doing. So we're going to have this, right? First, we're going to get our glue stick, because I have all the pieces for this. Get our glue stick. Oh, excuse me. We're going to glue the heart on. And then you have four pieces for legs. So we have two bigger ones. And two smaller ones. So the smaller ones are going to go over here. And you're going to put them like so. So it's like they're holding the heart. And 
And then you're going to take the bigger ones. And you're just going to put them like so. Like that. And then there's this bigger pink piece that you're going to glue just mainly down the middle. And you're going to put the tail, because this part's the tail, right over it. Then next, you're going to take the head, and you have six pieces of these guys. And uh, many, and some of the craft bags, a lot of them are different colors. But I kept mine a solid one. So we're going to just, you know, just glue the tip part, and you're going to put three of these on each side of the head because an oxytol has three of these on the side of their head And voila, there is that. And then from here, actually, on the body part, you're going to glue this a little bit, flip this over, and place the head right on top. Then you're going to grab a marker or pencil or a color pencil or any type of coloring device. And I'm going to make a face. Because I notice they kind of have like simple face anyways. We might as well. And ta-da, this is our little monster. Isn't she cute? I love them. It's adorable. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, remember, send pictures of your crafts. I would love to see them. And I would love to share it with everybody on our um, Facebook page. So make sure you guys stay tuned for uh, Tuesday. That will be our next Steam video. Thank you all again so much for joining me today. I will see you later. Bye.